the article I sent you? You think he'll pick Cruz for yeah. SVP? No. Do you, you think uh, Kasich? No. Do you Clinton? Think, no. He'll pick <laughs> Bernie. No. Oh, he'll he pick, could, that could that could work for he's him. He's gonna pick the uh, Hispanic he, you know, chef at the Trump Grill. Yeah. <laughs> That's who he's gonna pick. Well, he does love Hispanics. Do you think so? Who doesn't? Do you think he's gonna pick a Hispanic woman? Why not? Or uh, potentially the the African American, the CEO of the Trump Foundation, or yeah, whatever, who wrote or who, had a nice video, made that video. She he started, might pick her. She started crying. No, I. She'll be a cabinet member. Yeah. Did you see the article I sent you? Yes, it's I'm, not appropriate to read on the air. Well, I don't know. And about it was that. more of a video, but okay. No, no, the article I sent you. No, I don't know what you're talking on about. The National the, Review. Uh, you made me read a letter that nobody no, can understand. No, don't do that. No, no, no. Uh, what are you talking about? I PM'd you a message on from the National Review on on how. Oh yeah, Trump I read that. Not it's nonsense. Better than it's Hillary. nonsense. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I think it made nonsense. a lot of sense. No, it didn't make a lot of sense. And it, it I was great, listening. Like every paragraph was like Hillary Clinton is pretty good. Trump's I, bad. I was Hillary Clinton's and pretty I was good. listening Trump's to bad. a real radio station, Come on. NPR. Oh yeah, uh-huh. and they had people. And they on said there, the same thing, right? And they said this guy is crazy. I agree. Now, look, I think I can hope and pray that it's all that it's all showmanship, that it's all BS and that the man really has a solid uh, fundamental seriousness to him and that he will pick good advisors mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and do well. You know, he just flip flopped on minimum wage. Right? I don't think so. Soon as soon as, he, as soon as Cruz dropped out, he switched his stance on minimum wage and he's for it. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, well, I, but not. Uh, but he is. Right? What, do you, what do you say? Hey, uh, we had one one of our favorite listeners give a, a great uh, suggestion to Trump. We were talking he loves Hispanics. Marco Rubio would be a good VP. I could actually see that, that happening. That would be more. Yeah. I could see that more than Cruz and Kasich. Yeah. Oh, me Just too. It's because not be Cruz or Kasich. he's younger and more. Um, he he can be more manipulated and bullied, right? And he by knows, an older white man. He knows the the size of Trump's hands, and they're very small. Yeah, they are small hands. And you know what they say about people with small hands? They wear small gloves, or the gloves are too big. Why would they wear big gloves? What if they don't have small gloves? Not everyone has Trump money. Everybody, you wear the glove that you can. Right. If it's too big, it's you point. still wear it because it's still cold out there, man. That's, that's my you point. You still need that's to protect yourself. Look. But if it's too small, Look. if the glove don't fit, you can't acquit. Sure. That doesn't you have what? to acquit, I mean. <laughs> that's a OJ. Is it? Yeah, right. Wow. Hey, OJ wouldn't be a bad VP. <laughs> I don't know if he can serve from prison. Is he still alive? He is. He's huh. not. He's not doing well. All right. No, that's too bad. Yeah. He may die in prison. Yeah. So what do you think? Is this on the list or are we going to just jump into it? Because I don't uh, know if it is. I was wondering what you think. And we've talked about it before. Do whatever but it, you want, it became, baby. It's it became, all you. It became big, right? Because Michigan, I think it was Michigan, wants to pass this law or whatever uh, to allow felons to have some of their rights restored. I, right? I, okay. I, so currently. No, I, have, I haven't heard that. What, cur- currently. Currently. What Michigan what haven't re- you heard? restores all rights except voting rights. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what? What's new? They're gonna nothing's new. They're gonna no, restore voting rights. New, yeah. No, they can't. Can they? Yes, they can. I don't know. I don't know if the state can. They can. Now know. here's the thing: Michigan can restore all your rights except voting rights. <clears throat> um, the federal what? government, right? The federal government says. <clears throat> that you can possess firearms if the state you're in restores all of your rights. Since Michigan doesn't restore all of your rights, if you're in Michigan and you're a felon, you cannot pe- uh, possess a firearm unless you get an expungement or something like that. But right now, so, but if Michigan said, all right, we're going to restore all rights to felons, then they would be able to possess firearms under federal law. Now, Michigan law could prevent it, I suppose, and I don't know what Michigan law says in that regard. So what are you talking about? Is Michigan talking about restoring voters' rights to ex- or to former I'm sorry. Felons? No, Virginia. Ah! Big difference. Virginia. They're just, they're, they're over a yonder a bit. Yeah. 
So Virginia just recently a couple of hollers or so down the they, road. They just recently uh, voted to restore voting rights, right, for convicted released felons. So does that mean they get all of their rights back, and therefore they could that's possess the firearms? Yeah, that's or, the question. Or possess firearms? Yeah, right. And so the question that's been heavily debated on the inter uh, inter internet. No, is, the internets. Just the one. It's. Are you it's sure? When did it today. happen? No, no, no. There's multiple, but the, this debate is only on one. Oh, on on one of the, on the internets. One. The internet. The, the internet. The internet. Mm-hmm. Is and whether they what, should, because here's the deal. Oh boy! If somebody is convicted of a felony, right? And there are thousands of felonies. Thousands and thousands of people convicted of felonies. Do you yeah. really want those horrible, horrible people who guaranteed, since they were already convicted of a felony, you let them out of prison, you give them a gun, they're going to shoot a baby. I would think at That's least it. a baby. Maybe a, a mother, a pregnant mother, for God's sakes. And get them both, maybe. A, a pregnant mother, a pregnant woman, and get them both. Or a pregnant mother. Oh, well, be, Yeah, I guess they could be more be a, tragic, actually. They could be a mother and pregnant. To, with us, yeah, lots anyway. of them are. So the thing is, you and I think are both for allowing <clears throat> I don't, felons I don't that are released. I, I don't know what I'm for anymore. Yeah, you do. I need to I need to check with Trump. Are you gonna make it over there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a little reflux here. Well, this could be a fun show. Oh boy. <laughs> So I think you and I are, are both in favor of. Res- don't uh, speak for uh, me. Okay, I am in favor of allowing. Felons that are released and have fulfilled their probation and all of their obligations for their crimes um, to be able to possess firearms. Oh, me too. Under the argument that if they're a danger to society, they shouldn't be released, right? So immediately when someone hears that, they go, baby stabbers, father rapers, the worst felonies in the world. But there are a yeah, lot of they felonies don't think of that like are not writing a bad check, yeah, or computer fraud, or yeah. embezzlement. Lots mm, of nonviolent marijuana. Felonies. Yeah, a certain amount of marijuana a felony. Um, doing a internet. <laughs> God, wow! An internet uh, political talk show could be a felony yeah. in some cases. Yeah. Well, if Trump gets his way, are those people denied the right to protect themselves with a firearm? The yes. best tool. For to protect yourself? Yes, they are. They shouldn't be, right? If, well, because I, I if don't they're think, dangerous I don't enough, think any they of shouldn't them be, should let, be let out. I mean, that's the argument. It's not about whether or not we let them have guns, because if, if your argument is that a violent felon will always be a violent felon, then they're going to get a gun and be violent whether the law says that they can legally have a gun or not, right? I, it, it, a cr- criminals, by definition, don't obey the law. So even if... We're letting felons out, which we are, that are too dangerous to be in public. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna do what they want to do anyway. Right. They're gonna find the means to be violent. A law is not gonna stop them from doing it. Not at all. Didn't stop them the first time they committed a violent act right. and it won't stop them again. Right. So the issue is whether they should be let out or not, not whether they should own firearms. Yeah, lawfully. potentially. There are you know, there are a lot of rabbis and ministers and priests that have felony convictions. They're good, decent people. Other than, well, never mind. Um, my point is, there's lots of good people, and you probably, many of our listeners, know someone that has a felony. Yeah. That's a decent yeah. person. I know Turn some. Turn their life around. I know some. And I they still can't hang possess, out with you. Uh, <laughs> they, they, uh, you know, they can't possess a firearm to protect themselves. Right. It's wrong. All right. Um, you want to get right into the... Uh, I'm scared of stuff. I yes, I do because I know you are. <laughs> because uh, I'm. What I'm, are you afraid of? I'm afraid of felons with guns. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, there is a. But, uh, you know. Oh, it, I mean, that's that's the other piece of the argument, right? Is that if there are all of these scary, dangerous felons running around, then shouldn't we rethink gun control in the first place and allow? all of the non-scary, non-dangerous felons to carry a gun to protect themselves from the scary, dangerous felons yeah. that are running around? Right. I mean, doesn't that make sense? It does like to if, me. If the scary, dangerous felons are going to hurt people, you should give the non-scary, non-felon, non-dangerous right. people the means to protect themselves. From those bad ones. Right. And future felons. Right. Future violent you, you felons. You never know. 
or the uncaught violent felons like you. I'm not violent. Never convicted. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Indicted several times. Never convicted. Very proud of that. All right. Uh, it helps to have a good lawyer, right? Yes. A good lawyer yes, will do that does. for you. Yes, it does. All right. Uh, oh, this is what I want to talk about was uh, this 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 makes my head explode. So we have this law, lawmakers and civil rights groups out there, and they're messaging the National Park Service saying, your uniforms and your vehicles are very threatening to Latinos. Now, they just said Latinos. Not other illegal immigrants, just Latinos. They say that the hats and vehicles that they have, oh, they look like Border Patrol agents. <laughs> and the groups wants that to change. Big effing deal, right? So Mati Achri of the Hispanic Access Foundation delivered the message during a press conference on Thursday. He says, I quote, it's such a shame that something as simple as the uniform and its similarity to the Border Patrol uniform and the coloring could be very threatening to certain segments of the Latino population. What segments is that? It's the ones that are concerned about the Border Patrol. Yeah. So a discuss <laughs> discussion about that is going to be really tough. Now, they're asking President Obama to issue an executive order directing the Department of Interior and the U.S. Department of Agriculture to adopt guidelines for a more inclusive approach to national parks. What the hell does that mean? It means don't look, don't look like someone that's going to stop you from crossing the border illegally. So maybe they should... Have uniforms that look like the counter person at Taco Bell? Well, I'm what <laughs> I said. It. That would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, I get How it. Can I That's help you? not funny. No, it's a little funny. I was just thinking generic fast food restaurant. Now, listen. <laughs> no. Are they only concerned about this uh, for uh, the national parks that are like in the south? All national about parks. All, so they're concerned about the way the uniforms look in Michigan that they look like the Border Patrol. Yes, because. We have, I mean, less and, of an active border if, patrol in Michigan. And if you look at the uniforms, they're not really very similar, right? But they wear they wear a hat with a brim, right? And then they wear like a oh, a Mister Ranger hat. They wear, hey, Mister Ranger. <laughs> uh, I don't have well, a no what I was gonna picnic say. A basket. The ones in Michigan, hey, boo -boo. ride on a moose because they're they're basically uh, Canadian. Oh boy, um, yeah, that's interesting. The Border Patrol agents, I don't think, wear the D.I. type of hat, right? The the, the wide-brimmed drill instructor I hat. I don't know what they wear. They wear baseball caps that say, like, Border Patrol. Border Patrol. <laughs> they and, they, and they're more all green, where the <laughs> parks uniform or green pants are kind of a khaki-ish, light, greenish, beige-colored shirt. Come on. It's ridiculous. Now, I will I will say something. If that is your major priority in your life is to try to change the well, park service uniform. Well, well, no, I don't know. And we can talk about that in a minute because I, I kind of want to talk about police uniforms and colors and things. But, Most people are familiar with Bozo, right? But Bozo the Clown? Maybe, yeah. Was, maybe, maybe that could be their uniform. Was, <laughs> the hair? No, not the hair. Oh, the, the <laughs> just the, the blue and the white. That would be good. Sleeves. No, that would be good. Look. This sort of thing, though. The big shoes, so you can't run them down. <laughs> and you hear them coming in the woods, too. <laughs> flop, 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 flop. Stop. Why did you oh, do that? Oh, jeez, I don't know. I got the dogs going. Listen, uh, There's dogs <laughs> all over Mexico City. You realize that that's absolutely true, right? I do. That's why I, I said it. Hundreds. We went uh, When uh, I was there, we went to a, we went to a co uh, town called El Oro, right? The gold. Uh, the mining town. Uh -huh. Beautiful, beautiful town. Yeah. Hundreds of dogs, just feral dogs, around. feral oh, dogs, yeah. wild dogs, all hundreds. Over. They were all friendly. Um, <laughs> anyway. that dog's not going to stop. Now. No, it's never going to stop. <laughs> he if, until we butcher it. Yeah. And eat well, it. yeah. And then what was I? Gonna, oh, this sort of thing, nah, whether I'm, legitimate or not, now nah, I'm hungry. Is closer to something that would would be valid 
to come from an executive order, right? This is the type of thing that an executive order. 